I was born in a non musician's family. My father is a scientist and my mother is an English teacher. So I loved music from the beginning. It was my passion. I knew at that time that that was what I wanted to do. It was a very tough time. The country was in a revolution, the war was around. We didn't have food to eat and we didn't have heat in the home. So we had just survived. However, everyone that I wake up with one thought, and that thought would make me happy that I could practice uh, and I could uh, create music and that I would always choose uh, Rachmaninoff's second uh, piano concerto by uh, Richter performing or, or uh, Chopin balladas. I, th I, I don't know why, but this uh, recording spoke to me for some reason. For me, actual process of composition starts with a search. I, uh, I take time to find material, first of all, that uh, con connects to me in a way, emotionally, mentally, philosophically. I need to feel that this material is something that I really want to uh, bring out. It's a quite a... Uh, it takes quite a while before you really ready to start writing. And when it's a uh, writing process is when I already know what is there for me to write. When I work in one piece, uh, this piece is entirely in my system. And that's period of time when you are in this music every second, 24 hours, even when you sleep. George, I know that you've worked on a number of your compositions with Inga Kasakashvili, your cello sonata, Space Carnival, to name two. I wonder if you could talk a little bit about how that collaboration works. For me, as a composer, it's interesting how audience responds to it. So, through Inga, I can a little bit relate to audience respond. I can see through her reactions what will be or what might be audience reaction. So. I wonder if you could talk a little bit about the mentors that have influenced you most in your development as a composer. Um, I want to talk about uh, Richard Daniel Poor, who, who is my mentor and friend and uh, he helped me so much in my music career. A technical part of music writing I uh, received from Justin De La Gioia and uh, he did an uh, amazing uh, job with it. So I was ready, I knew how to write music uh, well uh, on paper, um, uh, thanks to Justin. With Richard, our work was completely different. Uh, he didn't have to look at the score and see whether uh, it was written uh, well and correct or not. We actually focused on music and its philosophy. Sometimes he intuitively knew uh, what was in my mind. We would talk about music that I haven't even said, but he was talking to me like he already know what I'm uh, thinking or uh, composing in me. That was quite an experience. Uh, it was uh, beyond uh, communication, beyond normal, I would say. George, let's take a, a step back. I wonder if you could say a few more words about the period in your life when you were working. If, if I say what uh, composer made me to become a musician, I would say Chopin and Bach. I remember when I heard 
Glenn Gould playing Bach's Partita in E minor. I heard uh, this on TV back in Georgia. I was little, 13, 14 years old. I, I was under such a huge impression that I didn't want to do anything else than that in my life. So these two composers, I think, uh, made uh, me as 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 what I am. As, uh, and then I would say Robert Schumann also did a great impact on my formation. Um, and Prokofiev and Rachmaninov, of course, and uh, Stravinsky and. Uh, many other composers as well. However, I think uh, it is important, beside your influences, to remain your own self. This is, I think, task number one for a composer, to uh, be able to have your own signature while you have all of these influences aside. George, I wonder if you could say a few words about some of the pieces on your new CD and your process of composition for these pieces. The piece that uh, CD opens up with is Toccata for piano. And that's my very first, actual very first uh, composition. Uh, and uh, all other pieces also would belong to that period uh, where uh, uh, I would call it the first period of my music compositional life. And uh, each uh, music composition to me is different in, in terms of character, in terms of shape, in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, uh, instrumentation and so on and so forth. Thank you.